Hey guys, it's Mark with Music Greatness. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning I Knew I Loved You. This is the introduction and first verse. It sounds just like this. That was the introduction and first verse of I Knew I Loved You. Let's break it down together. We're in the key of A, and we've got five chords to look at. Our first chord is going to be an A major chord. That's A and E in the left hand, C sharp and E in the right hand. Our next chord is a B minor chord. That's B an F sharp in the left hand and a D in the right hand. Then we shift up to C sharp minor, which is C sharp and G sharp in the left hand and an E in the right hand. Then we shift again, this time, to our D major chord. That's a D and an F sharp in the left hand and an A and an F sharp in the right hand before finally shifting back down to our E major chord, which is an E and a G sharp in the left hand and an E in the right hand. And then we move back down to that A major chord. Let's recap them one more time. We've got A, B minor, C sharp minor, shifting out to D and back in to E before you go back to A major. Let's look at the rhythm in a little bit more depth. We're going to start by looking at just the right hand, then we'll move on and add the left hand for the whole introduction. We're starting on the third beat of the bar, and this is called an upbeat. It's going to sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and. Where we're playing C sharp, D, E, E. And we're going to go three and four and one and. Then, now we're, we're in the next bar, we're going to start on the second beat. This E is tied for the whole first beat. One and, two and three and four and. Where we're going on two, E. And then on the AND we're moving down to D, we hold that until beat 4, and then we play two E's, 4 AND. And then we hold that E right the way through the first beat, 1 AND, then we shift down and we play A to F sharp, 2 AND, and we hold that for beat 3, 3, and on the AND of 3 we shift up to B and G sharp which we hold for a whole beat, and then on the AND of 4, we shift up again to C sharp and A. We're going to hold that C sharp and A for the whole of the first beat, 1 AND, and then on 2 AND, we're going to go 2 AND, where all we're doing, we're holding that C sharp constant, just shifting from the A to the C sharp, and we hold that until beat 4. On beat 4, we go C sharp, F, we hold that until beat 2 of the next bar, but we add an E, making sure to still hold on to that F sharp. Now let's take a look at the left hand. The left hand pattern in isolation is nice and simple, and it will help to practice this hands together so that you can slot one hand over the other. The pattern looks like this. We're going to start on our A and E, 
We're gonna go one and two and then we shift up to B and F sharp for three and four and same rhythm C sharp and G sharp one and two and D and F sharp three and four and then it changes slightly we're gonna go F sharp C sharp and F one and two and and then to E and A Then we shift down to D and A and D and A again. Let's practice that hands together. We'll break it down really nice and slow. Then we'll move on to the verse. Let's take a look at the verse. The verse follows a very similar chord structure and the left hand is almost identical. We're going to start this time by looking at the left hand, although both hands work together in tandem. There's not very much of the hands playing together in this section, so we may occasionally drop them in together just to make it easier to understand. Rhythmically, it's going to sound like this. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and let's start by looking at the left hand that same pattern from before a and e shifting up to b and f sharp c sharp g then we're going to outline a d major chord d a f back again do it a few more times. So the third time through, but rather than outlining the full D major chord, we're just going to go D, A and hold it. Then back down. And this time, instead of going to C sharp and G, what we're going to do is instead, we're going to go straight to our D major chord and then shift up to E major. To outline the end of the verse. In the right hand, we're going to be playing on the off beats. That's beats two and four. So we're going to go one, two with B and C sharp, four with A and D, then shifting up, B and E, and then down just to D. Same pattern. And this time we're going to play on and four. That's E to D. Then we switch it up. Rather than just B and C sharp, we're going to add an E in as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's beat three of that second bar. Beat seven of our whole set. We're going to switch and play B and D. Then same pattern again. And this time, this is our final bar where we're going D major to E major. We're going to go one and two and three and four and. So outlining a D and an E on beats two and four. And that's really all there is to the introduction and verse. Let's hear it again at full speed so that you can see how everything fits together.
And that's all there is to the introduction and first verse of I Knew I Loved You. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to check out the rest of the video on musicgreatness.com. I've been your tutor Mark, thank you.